for me, dialysis is a lifesaver. You make up your mind that this is what needs to be done, and you do it. Simple as pie. My name is Ronald Corbin. I uh, originally from Tallahassee. I now live in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I moved to teach at Martin County High School, and I taught there for 34 years. And, and it was the uh, best move I've ever made. The choir there uh, was accustomed to travel. We traveled every year. Amazing students, and they sang really well. And it was just so rewarding being in front of them. I don't tell many people this, but what I, I've always done before every performance, I have my music folder, and I sleep with it under my pillow of all the music that we're going to perform. I've done that forever. I don't know if I should have told that. <laughs> it's not bad. My diabetes doctor sent me to a doctor in Stewart because of, he thought I, I was having some problems with the kidneys. And she said, you know, you, you're probably headed toward dialysis. I knew I was headed that way, but I, I thought I was a long ways off, uh, you know, because I wasn't having these symptoms. And all of a sudden, just one day, I said, whoa, I can't stand up. Something's wrong. It was frightening at first. But after going and visiting the dialysis center, it was amazing how comfortable they made me feel. I wasn't, you know, afraid anymore. I just thought I was going to be bedridden and not housebound and not have to be able to go anywhere. But uh, that, that was an eye-opener. I mean, I still do the things that I like to do. It's not like uh, I'm going to do a doctor to be examined it's going to hurt. It's just something I'm going to get some help, and these people are here to help me get through what they're going to do for me. It's just it's family. My dietitian Diane, I see her about twice a week. The amount of portions are, uh, has not been a problem right now. The liquid is, is, is what I'm having a problem with. Because I, I used to drink a gallon of water a day. And having to cut back to one liter a day is quite a challenge. But I'm working on that. <laughs> well, thank you. Fifteen years I attempt to play golf. I'm also the organist at one of the Episcopal churches down in Stewart. I love fishing. When we go fishing, we usually go about three something in the afternoon. You just sit, bowl in the water. If the cork sinks, you pull it. When I got out of the hospital, one of my former students, she was there every day. She took care of me. She uh, helped clean my house. Not having that kind of support, it's, uh, it's just been a blessing. My life lesson is that if you treat people the way they should be treated, you'll get treated the same way, and you'll be blessed. And I've been blessed, and I'm still being blessed, and I'm thankful for that. I just hope I'm making a place for me up there. <laughs> That's all. Hope I'm doing the right things. <laughs>